Hello everybody, today we're going to replace this condensing unit but it has some refrigerant and you know that it's unlawful, it is against the law to just vent the refrigerant to the atmosphere uh, you'll be fined 45,000 BTUs, uh, 45,000 uh, dollars every time you do it so please don't do it get a recovery machine like this so i'm going to give you a link for that and uh, for this recovery you need at least four components you need of course the condensing unit you need a pair of gauges you need the recovery pump and you need a recovery tank so i'm going to take you step by step how to do it so don't go anywhere i'll be right back Okay, so we have all four components here. And as you could see, we have some charge right there. And uh, let's talk about the recovery tank. Recovery tanks usually are uh, yellow tops with gray bodies. So this tank is for R22 refrigerant only. You cannot mix them. Uh, you, can, you have to get a tank for every different refrigerant that you are going to use. And never mix them because when you mix them, it, it is not good and you have to dispose it. Uh, of course, dispose it properly. Um, and this is the recovery tank. You have to be careful here. Even though this is a red cap, uh, sometimes, and this is the liquid side, and it's red. Sometimes in these recovery tanks, the, li the liquid side is blue and the uh, gas port is red. So you just have to be careful, pay attention and read what it actually says on the knob. Don't go, don't go by colors. If this was a brand new tank, which is not, uh, if, if it was empty, we would have to perform a vacuum on this tank because remember, uh, there's air inside and we don't want air. So every time you get a new tank, you have to perform a vacuum on it. Let's start by showing you the hookups. So this is the low side and the high side, blue for low and red for high. The blue hose is gonna go to the low side, which is the gas, which is the bigger line right there. And then your red hose is gonna go to the high side, which is the liquid line right here. And then from the center hose, which is the yellow line, is gonna go to the recovery machine. It's gonna go to the in side of the recovery machine. And if you notice here, the yellow hose goes here into a filter and you have to check the arrow just to make sure that we are doing it right. And then it's gonna go through the recovery machine and it's, it's gonna go in through this blue side and then it's gonna go out to the through the red hose to the uh, vapor side of the tank. So, um, and it's this side. So now we have to bleed. There are different types, there's different ways to bleed everything. You can bleed every hose independently or you, could use, or you could bleed everything together. So that's what we're gonna do. So the refrigerant is gonna travel from the condensing unit to the gauges and then out from the yellow hose in to the recovery machine and then out through uh, this red hose to the tank. We're gonna open this too. We're gonna make sure that this is on. Open and open. So now we have refrigerant all the way to here. Right now, this one is closed, so we're gonna bleed. As you could see that, you could see liquid and vapor together. So now, before you do anything, we're gonna zero. I forgot to mention, we have a scale here, and we're gonna turn it on and then zero it. 
Oh, we they have to communicate, so we're gonna turn it on. And now, okay, so there are 26.58 pounds right now. Uh, I'm gonna zero it, and now we have zero. And now we're gonna watch how much uh, gas is entering to this one. I close these two valves, and the way I'm gonna do it today, I'm gonna turn my pump on, my recovery machine on, and then immediately I'm gonna open up my valve. And then after that, I'm gonna let my vapor first and then my liquid line after that. And I'm doing that just so there's not too much wear, uh, uh, too much pressure, back pressure on my recovery machine. Okay, so let's start doing it. I'm gonna turn it on. And then this one. I could hear the, ba the uh, reverter I'm going in. Then I'm gonna do my vapor first. And then my liquid. So I remind you that this method is the most basic method and the method that takes the longest. In another video, I'm gonna show you different ways to do it when we're gonna cut the time Instead of 45 minutes, we're going to be 10 minutes. It's going to be different hoaxes arrangement. So I'm going to show you later how we can do that. Started at 7. So it has been 2 minutes. Okay, so I change. So 11.6 ounces. So if you see on the gauges, uh, it has been decreasing little by little and uh, we have to stop until the gauge reaches zero and start going into vacuum okay so after 10 minutes now it's about 25 so i'm guessing another 10 minutes we're gonna reach zero and then we're gonna be done after 17 minutes 18 minutes it's almost zero maybe another five minutes and then we'll reach where we want to be okay now we got where we want to be if we are zero we don't want to be too much into vacuum if there's a hole in the system if there's a leak you're gonna pull air so you want to stop right there so we are good and that's after 30 minutes so this this condenser has about four pounds of refrigerant and it was uh, it stopped at uh, 3.61 3.62 and then it goes back to 360 to uh, 361 so um the way we're gonna end the process we're gonna turn it off as you could see i just saw it now we're gonna close the the liquid side i'm gonna turn it off and on this on this one i have a valve i'm gonna is isolate it i want to shut it off i'm gonna remove this and Remember, there's since this is the liquid side, still liquid inside. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna raise the hose for a few minutes. So the refrigerant is gonna drip and then it's gonna go back to the tank so we don't wanna waste any. And then we're gonna close our gauges now. And then we're gonna put our equipment. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.